Thank you. My most favorite thing on the farm is getting to take care of all of my animals. So I don't mind doing all the paperwork and all the customer orders and stuff like that because I like connecting people to their food and getting to know our customers. But this is definitely my favorite part. I'm just sitting in my chicken burger looking at my baby chicks, just making sure that they're all healthy and looking good and they're looking awesome and I'm loving this new brooder that Chad made me. It's working really good. I'll show you. So here's the baby chicks. They're getting pretty big already. <laughs> hey guys. So these guys will go outside probably in a couple more weeks. We just need to make sure that they're big enough so that predators aren't going to attack them or that the older birds aren't going to attack them as well. Because we free range all of our birds, they will be outside all the time. So we just need to make sure that they can fend for themselves and give them the best life that we possibly can. And that a part of that means making sure that they can protect themselves, right? So there they are. The water, heat lamps right above me. Sweet little setup. And then on the other side of this shed is the meat birds right now until they get moved outside in the chicken tractors. There's just a gate here, and then it opens up onto the other side, which I will show you guys. So, this is the other side, there's the open air right there. That door, and here's the meat birds. And then we also have three layers on this side too that I hatched out of my incubator. Didn't have a very successful hatch that time, which was weird. Um, but I wasn't home when they hatched, so I got my sister to take them out of the incubator for me. So there is three in the corner. I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna try to zoom in. There they are. I'm just open up the meat birds right now, hanging out. Yep. Healthy, happy chickens. So anyways, I was just coming in here to feed them again. Yeah, a little small guy right there. It's much smaller than a bunch of us. So I guess, well, I guess there's a couple around the same size. But So this is the pen here. So I'm just gonna open up this latch. Hope he was coloring on that, obviously. Not this latch here. And I'm going to give these guys some more water because they have already drained their waters again. Hey guys, thirsty, thirsty chickens. chickens, the most important part, even more important than um, food, is making sure that they have clean, ample water all the time. Um, when they run out, you'll know, because they're doing it pretty fast. They just because I only gave them this water about 10-15 minutes ago, so obviously they need more. So we have two of these small waters in here right now, like these smaller ones, and then uh, two large ones. And those ones are already and maybe a quarter full still. So they drained about three quarters of those two and then drained these ones. So obviously we need to water them a little bit more in the day so that they're not draining them as fast and they just have ample water all the time. So I'll probably get a couple more of the large waters because the next batch of chickens that we're doing, we're getting um, 70 and this time we got only 50 and they're going through their food and water pretty fast. So, we'll need to amp it up. the rest of the bucket of water they bring out for them. So I'm not running a hose over here just to fill up these couple feeders. So this is just the house that they're in right now. Just a big granary 
And we made that door so that they have open air all the time and it doesn't get smelly in there. They have fresh shaving bedding. Yep, and they're happy, healthy chickens. Pretty nice day out today. It's a little bit windy, but it's nice. Hopefully, now we're flying our kiter. Loving it. It's a beauty day. So I always have to check this one lean to shed that we have over here for eggs because I have a few chickens that like to lay. I'm just waiting for like our barn to get built because last year at the dump, I don't know if anyone goes dump shopping, but here you're allowed to. I found five of these master cares last year at the dump. In the take it or leave it. And they're amazing. What do, you have to show you? what do you have to show me? No, is that a frog? I don't believe you. I don't believe you right now. It's a what? Okay, don't come too fast. No, just slow down. Slow down. Because I don't know what's in there. Let me see. There's a bee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bee, not a bee. I just have to see it. <laughs> It's not funny. It's not funny. Oh, it's very nice, Oakley. I'm so glad that it doesn't have legs and ribbit. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to look for eggs. Rude. I am deathly terrified of frogs. Like, deathly terrified of frogs. No, not yet. I'm working on it. Yeah. No. <laughs> Here's the egg. I don't want any more of your prizes. It is that's your frog. Uh huh. Is it, is it blue? Yeah, it's not very nice. Is that his right hand? Oh, is always your hand? Rude. Yeah, you. Okay, good. Thanks, ma'am. Okay. Now that Chad and Oakley definitely terrified me, I'm gonna go get the rest of the eggs. So funny, Chad. Just you. Because <laughs> I don't like frogs. So that makes me funny. Let's see how many piles, piles, piles of eggs. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Alright, here we get the rest of these eggs. Uh, I think there's a few more than that. There's five in this one box. Thanks, Jen. Just, yeah, quite a few eggs. I'm gonna grab them. Look, you're doing your favorite job. This <laughs> is my favorite job. I'd like to go up too. That's me scary. Uh, 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 Ooh, look at this one. This is a perfect egg. Yeah, like really my nice. bead. Yeah, I like your bead. Yeah, because it's super green. <laughs> See? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you want me to get down to the water? Okay. Because. Okay. Oh, those chickens, watch, they don't eat that green bead. Uh, don't drop it. Put it in your cup. Yeah. They'll think it's so shiny and yummy. Broken one in there? Broken this one. But it doesn't look like any broken one. <laughs> oh, another one back here. I'm gonna check into that chicken. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Three, eight, 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 eight,
Look at Hank's fine. Look at the one that looks exactly like Maggie. That one? Yeah. It's Maggie's sister. You gotta parade him around in front of his ladies. <laughs> it's supposed to work. <laughs> yeah, pet him. <laughs> Calm him down. Be pecky and chase people. It, it's not nice. Oh, he's soft. Yeah, you're supposed to embarrass them in front of their ladies and then they'll stop attacking you. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Oh my gosh, they're all in the pig pen. No, my chickens. There's Maggie. Hey, Max. Run, girl, run. I was gonna say, you're not Maggie. Oh, you're a banded baby. So, that chicken was from our last hatch. We've been banding all of our chickens so we can keep track of when they were hatched. And then we just write down little things about them. Um, I think that little black one, no, not that little black one, there's a, there she is, right there, you can see the band right on her leg there, yeah, and then it just has a number on it, and we write their number down, what color they are, and just little traits about them so that we can keep track of them, and their health, and their eggs, and yeah, see how old they are, so now if we need to call them or not from the flock. <laughs> This is us, this is Backwoods. Follow us on all things social media. That's our Instagram, Facebook, and our website. Thanks for being here, guys. We appreciate each and every one of you.